I'm watching TV and Tosh is making me laugh. So I wrote a tweet saying, "You always you, your show makes me laugh," mm -hmm. and then I put it down. And then like two days later, I come home and I read these like bloggers and like Hollywood reporters. You know, uh, Louis C.K. defends Daniel Tosh amid rape joke <laughs> controversy. I had no idea. He got in trouble for making some jokes about rape, and I didn't know about it. And so I'm a defender of rape. That's what everybody says now. And there, I've read all this stuff like, shame on you, Louis C.K., and well, I'll never watch your show. You're a rape apologist. I've been called a rape apologist because I said hi to a guy. Because I said, hey, nice show to a guy who everybody was mad at. So you it's, really get here. You know the lesson here. Yeah. Never go to Vermont. You no, know, it's dangerous. It's dangerously it's a dangerous. Place. But here's the thing: it's this is like a fight between comedians and feminists, which are natural enemies. The biggest, yes. the easily, because stereotypically speaking, feminists can't take a joke, and stereotypically speaking, and comedians, see, and comedians, and on the other side, I'm on the other side, for you to send you back to Vermont right yeah. after the show. On the other side, comedians can't take criticism. Comedians are big pussies. Yeah. And they can't, they can't, if, so to one side you say, if you don't like the jokes, stay out of the comedy clubs. To the other side you say, if you don't like the criticism, stop Googling yourself every 10 seconds. <laughs> Just nobody's making you read it. It's positive. To me, it's all dialogue is positive. Now, a lot of people don't feel that way. For me, any joke about anything bad is great. Right. That's how I feel. Right. Any the joke about rape, uh, you know, Holocaust, uh, the Mets, ah, whatever. Yeah, any joke about something bad is, is a positive You thing. have now crossed the yeah. line, mister. But now, there, I've read some blogs during this whole thing that have made me th uh, enlightened to things I didn't know. I, this woman said how rape is something that polices women's lives, that they, they have a narrow corridor. They can't go out late, they can't go to certain neighborhoods, they can't right. dress a certain way, because they might now, I never, that's part of me now that it wasn't before, and I can still enjoy a good rape joke, so I have both of them. But here's, can I tell you here's the last thing. I don't, last thing. I don't like the way that you evolve as a person. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't like say, the way that you've come up with a way to grow as an individual. No, it's not fair. It's not Be the person the that I knew 20 years ago. I will. But here's the last thing I want to say about it. This is also about men and women, because a lot of people are trading uh, 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 blogs and, and, and things about this on the, uh, you know, with each other. Couples are fighting about Daniel Tosh and rape jokes. Really? Yeah, th that's what I've been reading in blogs. <laughs> but, but they're both making a classic gender mistake, because the women are saying, here's how I feel about this. But they're also saying, my feelings should be everyone's primary concern. <laughs> now, the men, the men are making this mistake. They're saying your feelings don't matter. Your feelings are wrong and your feelings are stupid. If you've ever lived with a woman, you can't step in worse than that than to tell a woman that her feelings don't matter. So, so to the men, I say, listen, listen to what the women are saying about this. To the women, I say, now that we heard you, you know, shut the up for a minute. And let's, let's all get back together oh and uh, kill the Jews. That's that's all I have to say about it. Send, send, send your complaints to Brian Williams, care of NBC.